Say that again. Does it fit absolutely perfectly? What do you think? First time. <laughs> Hi, we are Johnny and Hannah, also known as Finding Our Adventure, and since 2014 we have been travelling the world. Join us on our biggest adventure yet, where we follow our dream of making our very own off-grid adventure caravan. Our transit van is an X-Network rail crew van. We started by ripping everything out and returning it to its original shell. Once we had everything out, we had to clean layers and layers of grease and dirt. This took us three days to complete. There were loads of holes in the floor from old fixings to fill. We then painted the exposed metal work with rust-proof paint. With the floor looking almost like new, we could finally install our insulated floor. We used wooden battens to raise the floor before cutting insulation board to fill the gaps. We then were able to lay our ply floor. Okay, so we just had to take the flooring up, so this one and this one, because we had um, a bit here that was just giving a bit too much, so we wanted to add a bit of extra support. So what we did was we cut one of these pieces and just put it in here, slotted it in, so um, and cut up some of the um, insulation that was there, so it just slotted in really nicely. So we glued it in and then put some tape on top and then we've put the floorboards back on now. So you can see there is no movement either side. So it's perfectly supporting because this is where we're going to be coming in and out quite a lot because this is where the kitchen's going to be. Uh, the seating, shower and the bed. So it's really important that this bit is um, really good and supportive. That lady just made me jump when she was <laughs> Someone's attacking me. <laughs> Johnny is very easily scared. So yeah, so pretty chuffed with that. Um, and it's good to, I guess, not take shortcuts. So before we've put anything Whoa, 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 there's no shortcuts taken there. It was just no, a... we weren't taking any shortcuts, but you know, we could have been like, oh, well, we'll just leave it. But we've decided to be disciplined and pull it up. And now we're really happy with that. So thumbs up to us. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're back in the van again this morning um, and we've got a few jobs that we just want to finish off um, today before we um, make some progress next week hopefully and um, one of those jobs is to fill all the cubby holes up here with um, insulation and then also we're planning to start to mark out where the roof fan's going to go and so we can put that on and have all that fitted hopefully soon What do they say X marks the spot? What did you just say? Measure twice, cut once isn't it? Measure. Or in our case, measure 15 times and cut once. <laughs> yeah, because we cut a hole in the roof. We want to make sure that we get it right. Looks right to me. Whoa. I'm not going to do it yet though, because we haven't got the tape in Okay. And then what we do is we then figure out this. So this is basically going to sit, yeah, so this needs to be centred now on there and then we'll put the four holes in the middle, uh, four, drill, we'll put four marks in the corners when we'll drill through those and then when we go onto the roof we can then draw it all out and then cut down with the jigsaw so it'll be perfectly square and centred in the roof, hopefully, that's the plan. <laughs> hopefully we don't get any rain. Yeah, it's looking pretty good outside today and hopefully that tape arrives quickly so we can do that. Now we're going to make a square box. Yeah, I keep losing my tape measure. Need it on your hip. You need one of those tool belts. Is that what you're going to get me for Christmas? <laughs> okay, so 
So, what have you made? So, I've just finished making our frame for the underside of the roof. Um, and it fits perfectly, which we're really happy about. It didn't take very long, it took like five minutes to make. Um, How have you put it together? So, I've just cut four buttons. Um, I actually cut them wrong at first, so I've had to cut two slightly ones because I didn't account for the um, thickness of the wood. But it's 40 by 40 centimetres, and then that fits perfectly in with this. Um, one thing I've seen online, the mistake that people make with these Max Air fans is that they sketch out the inner bit here when they cut the roof out and they find out it's too small you've actually got to go for the inner ring here because all of this has got to sit inside the van and then basically what we'll do now is once we've cut the hole through the roof we'll then screw through the screw holes and then that will basically instead of just being on the metal of the van that will pull through onto the wood as well so it'll be a nice secure solid frame on the roof and then that hopefully hold the, van on, the fan on nice and tight and then we'll have a nice working fan to keep us cool and um, fresh in the summer, I guess. Way. So we have to get that off. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall off. So you're drilling holes into the roof. The roof. Scary. Okay, so hopefully all these measurements we did earlier are right. <laughs> At least if worst case scenario comes we can fill these with Seeker Flex. <laughs> and then um, be done with the day. But okay. So you're changing the bit to the, the saw. The saw, so it's specifically for metal, right? Yep. Well, that's helpful. Opens up and goes everywhere. Absolutely perfectly. What do you think? First time. <laughs> I think so. It looks like it. <laughs> no way. Do you know how stressed I was doing that? <laughs> I had like that horrible feeling in my stomach the whole time. Just quickly jumping in from the future, um, we put the tools down um, when we were doing the fan because it was getting dark and we needed both of us to get it finished. Um, so I thought we'd just give you a quick uh, finish to this video because we, we didn't film any more of the fan being put in. But um, there will be more of that in the next episode, we'll show you the finished fan, but I thought I'd just give you a quick peek here of the finished fan and it does work. Got it all finished. And so yeah, we're really happy with that. Um, turn that off here. Yeah, when we were installing it, the sun was really setting in, so we had to uh, get it all done really quick. So, yeah, you'll see a little bit more of that in the next episode and a little bit more of where we're at with the van. 
So don't forget to click the subscribe button, uh, the like button if you want to comment, that'd be really great um, and we'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. That's what we do.